Welcome to this crochet jellyfish tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this no sew jellyfish plushie. Let's get straight into it. So the materials that you will need are five millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, 12 millimeter safety eyes or whatever safety eyes you feel are appropriate for your yarn that you're using. You will need chunky yarn. I'm using green for the main color. And then for my tentacles, I am using lots of different pinks and purples, but you are welcome to just use the same color as the primary color for your tentacles if you like. And I'll be using Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn. Finally, you will also need some stuffing. So to start off, you're going to grab your hook and your primary color yarn, and we are going to begin by making the head. So we are going to begin by making a magic ring I personally use the two chain method to make my magic ring, but you may use whatever method you like. So to do the two chain method, we are first going to make a slip knot. And then we shall chain two. And then we will do our single crochets for the first round into that first chain. So it will act as our magic ring. So for the first round, we are going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. Now for round two, we are going to do six increases. So an increase is doing two single crochets into one stitch. So we're going to do six of those, which will take us up to 12 stitches. So I've just put my stitch marker in. I'm using scrap yarn for my stitch marker. Now for round three, we are going to do single crochet, then an increase times by six. This will take us up to 18 stitches. So in the first stitch, we do a single crochet. In the second stitch, we do an increase, and then we repeat this pattern all the way around. So for round four, we will do two single crochets and an increase times by six, which will take us up to 24 stitches. Now for round five, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase times by six, which will take us up to 30 stitches.
Now from round six to eight, we are going to single crochet round. So we're going to be single crocheting for three rounds straight. Now for the following round, we are going to do three single crochets and a decrease times by six. So how you do a decrease is you will go into the first stitch that you want to decrease in and then pull through yarn and then you'll go into the next stitch and also pull through yarn and then you'll pull yarn through all three of those loops. So that's how you'll do your decrease throughout this round. Now for round 10, you'll do two single crochets and a decrease times by six, which will take us down to 18 stitches. So now for this round, we are going to be working into the front loops only. So you can see there's two loops at the top of each stitch here, and we usually go through both of them. But this time we're just going to go into the middle. So we're in the front loop only. So that's what we're gonna do the whole way around for this round. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a half double crochet, double crochet, and another half double crochet into the first stitch and then a slip stitch into the second stitch. And then we'll keep repeating that process all the way around. So the third stitch will be half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, fourth stitch will be slip stitch, 
repeat all the way around. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first we're going to yarn over and we're gonna go into the front loop of the first stitch. We're gonna pull through some yarn and then we're gonna pull through all three of those loops. So that's the half double crochet. And then to do the double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, go back into the front loop of that same stitch, yarn over, and now we are going to yarn over and pull through two of those loops. So we now have two loops on our hook, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through those two loops as well. So that's the double crochet. And then for the last half double crochet, we'll yarn over, go back into that stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through those three loops. So there you've done the half double crochet, the double crochet and the half double crochet. Now we will just go into the next stitch in the front loop only, and we will just slip stitch. So we just pull through yarn, and then we also pull that through the first loop. And we're gonna repeat that process all the way around. So we'll do it nine times in total. So now you're just going to pop your safety eyes in. So I put mine between rounds eight and nine, around eight or so stitches apart. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna grab the backings and clip those in. So now that the safety eyes are in, we can continue round. So in this round, we'll be working into the back loops only. So if we look a little closer, you can see there's these little loops that haven't been gone into in the last round that you'll be able to find all the way around. You can see this ring around and those are the loops that we'll be going into. So the back loops from the round before that we did not go into. So in this round, we will be doing single crochet decrease times by six. And we'll do that just into these back loops all the way around. So at this point, we're going to grab our stuffing and we're going to stuff the jellyfish. So once we have finished stuffing the jellyfish, we are going to do the final round. And the final round is six decreases, which would take us down to six stitches. And for this round, we are just going to both loops of the last round that we did.
We're just going to leave a small tail for sewing the jellyfish shut. We'll finish off by pulling through. And then we'll grab our yarn needle and we're just going to sew the top shut. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go around into the front loops only. So we're going to go into the front loop of this stitch. And then we're going to go out of the front loop of the second stitch. And then in and out. In and out. And now we just need to pull it shut. And now we are just going to bring the yarn to around a point in the body. And we can cut off the yarn. So now that we have finished the body, we can move on to the tentacles. So you're going to grab your color that you want to do the tentacles in. In my case, I'm probably going to use several different colors, but I'm not sure yet. And we're going to start by just doing a slip knot. We're going to leave a bit of a tail from the slip knot. And then we're going to go into a point at the bottom of the body. And we're just going to slip stitch into that point. So here I'm just going to slip stitch. And now I'm going to chain 15. So I'm going to chain 15 times. And now we are going to increase back into all of these chains. So we're just going to increase into every single one. And once you have done that, you are just going to slip stitch back into the original point that you slip stitch into. So just slip stitch back in there. And now we're going to leave a little bit of a tail. And we're going to finish off by pulling through. So now you have these two tails. So you're going to get both of them in your yarn needle. And then we're going to put our yarn needle back into that original point and we're going to bring the tails to the other side of the jellyfish. And then we're going to tie these two together, cut them off and then put the remaining yarn inside of the jellyfish. So now you're going to repeat this four or five more times and put it in different spots on the bottom of the body. If you would like, then you can do more than 15 chains and that will give you longer tentacles. So for a few of mine, I might do 20 chains. And as long as you increase back into every chain, it'll just be longer, but still curled. So I'm going to go ahead and do four or five more of the tentacles.
So in the end, I ended up doing four tentacles in total, but you are welcome to do more if you want more, more colors or more volume. That is the end of this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed creating your jellyfish. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more crochet tutorials and like this video. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.